Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Relics, and today we're gonna do something different. Um, as you guys know, I love hockey, and I follow hockey, I watch hockey, I do everything hockey. But there is another thing that I don't do, or I haven't done, and that's collect hockey cards. Um, never really got into it. I have gone into training cards before, but you know, for obviously for other things. But today. I got hockey cards, woo! Um, so these are from Upper Deck. Um, this is the Connor Bedard collection, 2023-24. So, yeah, I got a few things. This is one of them. Uh, we also have 2022-23 season, series one. Not sure if it's called that. I guess it's it is called series one. Yeah. So 2022, 23 hockey series one. Connor McDavid on the cover, and we also have series two with Alex Ovechkin on the cover. So these are tins. In case you guys are interested, uh, we will be opening all three of these today. So um, hang tight while I open these up real quick. Okay. So. Here we are. Um, I will decide to open. We'll probably go with the Connor Bedard first, um, just because it is the more recent thing. So what we got in here: the Connor Bedard Collection 2023-24. Select boxes will include a rare autograph card. 26 cards per box. All right. Cool. So. Open from this side. Got tape, right? Okay. Ooh, special. Okay. You see this? It's kind of funny face he's got there. <laughs> Is that the face he made when he scored his first goal? I really don't remember. You guys see this? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Um, yeah. This is Connor Bedard Collection Highlights. Ah, so those are different kind of cards, I assume. Okay, let me, uh, let's, let's open this. So, I've never collected cards before, um, but this is my first time collecting anything like this, any hockey cards, so I am curious to know what these are all about, things like that, and, you know, what kind of cards will we get? Maybe I'll get something really rare, I don't know. Put my trash away. All right, so let's move these guys over here real quick. All right, so the f so we got a bunch of cards here. So we got another plastic piece. So the funny looking one, <laughs> it's funny face. Let's see. This one says, Bedard breaks NHL record with his first period goal against Vegas. Uh, October 27th. Okay, so they have dates. You guys can see the back of the card. They have dates on them. This was October 27th, 2023. Bedard scored the second of three straight goals tallied by Chicago in its 4-3 overtime win over host Vegas, becoming the first 18-year-old in NHL history to score against the defending Stanley Cup champions in each of their first two matchups. Cool. Um, so this one's listed as a number 16. There's a, there's a number, you guys can kind of see it there. It's in the this, this corner here. So number 16. Um, so I guess these are just straight up highlights. Uh, 
As far as I can tell, none of them are repeats. Yeah, as far as I can tell, none of these are repeats. So that's kind of cool. And I don't believe that any of them are going to be signed. Probably not that lucky, right? We'll check both sides, though. Yeah, none of these are signed on the front side. Let's see the back, perhaps? But it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. So, this is definitely a different kind of card that I was expecting. Um, I do believe these tins will probably hold the cards I am expecting to find. Um, these are specific to Connor Bedard highlights. Um, so, that's interesting. Um, not sure if these will be, you know, worth anything or anything in the future, perhaps. But we'll see. Obviously, if you guys have watched Connor Bedard in action this past season, in his rookie season, um, he was phenomenal. Absolutely amazing. Uh, I believed he would do as good as he did, if not better, to be honest. Unfortunately, uh, he was injured, so that sucks for him. But yeah, it looks like we have all the cards here. Let's see if we have all, what was it, 26? So 26 come in a box. I have 26 here. I'll try and see if we could put them in order, perhaps. That might give us a better understanding to see what kind of cards we got here. Or if we need to see if we need to get more. I don't know. Again, this is my first time opening cards like or opening things like this so I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to be looking for keeping my eye on you know things like that but we'll see I mean I, I was I'm assuming if there was something special to these cards they probably put the cards in order for me but since they're in kind of a random order maybe it's just random that I could get something really special not sure 26. All right, so we do have all 20, uh, 1 through 26. Um, not sure. The dates are kind of in random order, actually. Yeah, the dates are in random order. So there is no significance to the dates themselves, or the number order in the, in the corner of the cards here. So that's quite interesting. Um, so yeah, I guess... Uh, not sure if I will really read every single one of these. Because I don't really see there's if there's a point to reading every single one of these. Unless they're going in order by highlights. No, that can't be the case because it's not going in order by that. Yeah, it's not going in order by anything. So, um, yeah. So that's the Connor Bedard collection. I... If you guys are interested, and maybe I'll do a part two to this, and I'll read off every single card here. But, uh, yeah. So that's quite interesting. We'll do a Bedard video on its own, maybe. Um, so let's put these aside. Just leave them right there for now. Alright, so let's open these. So we got, we got two. Um, so this one, we'll do this one first. Series one of the 2022-23 hockey season, I assume. Um... It's a nice looking tin. Let's carefully open this. Alright, so what we got here? Um, hang on. The tins, do they tell me what's inside? Not really. Uh, they do not tell me what's inside. Okay, so I guess we'll just have to wait and find out. So, let's put that aside. Alright, what do we have here? We got plenty of these things. Let's see. It's been so long since I opened trading cards. My goodness. Alright, so... Okay, so this is just the same packs. Okay. So let's just take all of them out then. We'll keep them in order, if anything. Why not? So we got here... I don't think there's anything underneath. No, there isn't. Okay. So let's put the tin over there. 
So we got here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight packs of these. So we got here the Connor McDavid Series 1. Uh, collect Young Guns rookie cards. Uh, eight cards per pack. Okay. And then we also got this one here. This is a Opichi, Opichi Glossy. You see that? Three Opichi Glossy rookie cards inside. Okay. Uh, we'll save that one for last then. Uh, since it is kind of a special one. So we'll open the McDavid ones first and see what we get inside. So, obviously we want to try and be careful with these. I don't want to mess up the cards in any way. So I'm not sure what the best way to open packs are, but I'm just going to do my best here. We'll open them the way. I guess this one's just going to rip open. Ha! <laughs> so if you guys want to yell at me for be like, oh my god, he doesn't know how to open card packs. Feel free to say so in the comment section. Alright. First pack. Alright, so we got here. Can you do this? Alex Tuck. Buffalo Saber. Okay. And then we got JT Comfer at Colorado Avalanche. That Ryan Reeves, New York Rangers. Ooh. Let's see this one. Jared McCann, UD Canvas. What does that mean? So you can see that compared, for example, uh, the Ryan Reeves. My bad. For the Ryan Reeves car, there's nothing under there on near his name. But then there, on Jared McCann's, there's this UD Canvas. I wonder what that means. UD Canvas. Does that mean it's rare? I don't know. Seattle Kraken. It also feels different than the other cards. The other cards feel like a plasticky feel, but this one feels kind of rough, if you can say. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, who else we got here? Alexi Lafreniere. Okay, that's cool. He, he had actually a good playoffs too. Uh, who is this? Philip Hronick. He is now a Vancouver Canuck, actually. So... Detroit Red Wing. All right. Can't see. Brandon Hagel. Lightning, right? And then Jake Gunsel, Penguins. All right. So that's kind of cool. Um, so looking at these cards, there's typical, uh, you know, player on the front. Uh, they have stats on the back, including some information such as for example Jake Gunsel. Uh, Gunsel scored two goals and set up two markers in the Pittsburgh Penguins 6-3 victory over the visiting New York Islanders on April 14th 2022. Interesting. Um, yeah so I'm not really sure like I said I don't I'm not really sure what I'm looking for here. I'm not you know I'm not an expert on these cards. Is there a way to get my camera to focus on this? I don't think so. You can see it's Jake Gunsel though. Oh. There you go, the back of the card. Uh, they do have numbers on them, again, in the the corners there. So, Gunsel is number 139. Interesting. Uh, the UD Canvas Jared McCann card. Here, I'll show you guys that one though. So, again, here's the front. Kind of nice looking. He has a salmon for the Kraken. And on the back, it's a little bit different than the Gunsel one. Um, doesn't even have details either. Interesting. Very interesting. So, interesting. Uh, there's your first batch of cards. I'm not going to read off every single player. Maybe, maybe we'll read off ones that I like. The players that I like. Um, unfortunately, in this one, there's not too many. I'll read Alexi Lafreniere since I do think he's a nice player. Um, so here's his card again. Yeah, I'm sorry you guys can't really see it. It's a little bit blurry. But uh, Alexi Lafreniere, 
It shows you his height, his weight, sh his shot, uh, his birth and location. Um, 2020, uh, 2020 to 2021 uh, stats to this year's stats, obviously. So that's cool. It shows his two seasons. Lafreniere set up a goal and scored the game-winning marker in the New York Rangers 4-1 victory over the visiting Washington Capitals on February 24th, 2022. Again, I'm not sure what that entails because that clearly isn't like his first goal or anything. So I wonder what does that mean? Why, why specifically tell us about that date? Not sure. I have to look into that and see if that's anything significant. Um, otherwise, yeah, this group of cards, these group of players, kind of don't really care. So, let's put these guys aside now. And let's go to our next pack. Alright, here we go. Okay, so this one's already different. What is this? This is a sideways Dylan Larkin. That's kind of interesting. So, compared to the other ones, it's, diff it's uh, horizontal. So... But the back of the card, pretty much the same thing as the other one. So, special, Dylan Larkin. Let's go down here. Uh, then we got Victor Hedman, Lightning. I don't like Hedman. I don't like Lightnings. You guys know I, I hate the Tampa Bay Lightnings. Tristan Jari. Okay. I can't believe Pittsburgh got rid of, uh, or let Fleury go to Vegas during the expansion and say they wanted Jari. So another one, Vitek Vanacek, another uh, horizontal card. I don't know what that means, but that's kind of cool. Ooh. Oh, of course. Has to be the guy that I truly hate. The guy I blamed for our freaking season this year. The Kings losing in the playoffs slash the regular season. Pierre-Luc Dubois. And the bottom here says, Center of Attention. Wow. I, <laughs> I got a cool card of Pierre-Luc Dubois, the guy I hated the most on our team. And now I'm drawing his super cool card. Oh my goodness. And even the back. Even the back is quite different too. So definitely different from the rest of the cards we've seen. My goodness. But hey, it's different. It's cool. Maybe it's worth something. I don't know. Hey, we got an Alex Ovechkin, a horizontal card again, just like the other few. Uh, the back again, nothing, nothing special, but that's kind of cool. Uh, the card itself looks nice, and I like Ovechkin. Uh, then we got Nico Hichier, captain of the Devils. Kind of a wishy-washy player, to be honest. Never consistent. And then last but not least. Uh, Nils Hoaglander for the Vancouver Canucks. Very nice. Alright. So, not a bad batch here. Uh, Dylan Larkin. Victor Hedman. So we got a lot of actual, uh, you know, typical NHL starting players. Tristan Jari. Uh, Vitek Vanacek. Let's read the Pierre-Luc Dubois. So here's the card again. Very special. I'm trying to get my angles right here. Center of attention. So obviously this is when uh, this is 2022-23 season cards. So obviously he hasn't been traded to LA yet. Um, on the back here, let me guys show you again. Just your typical kind of description. This one doesn't have stats on him though, like the other cards do. Winnipeg Jets. After dishing out an assist in the middle stanza. Dubois came through in the in the clutch on March 13th, 2022. He notched his fourth game winning game winner of the season when he found the back of the net in overtime to seal visiting Winnipeg's 4-3 win versus St. Louis. So that is interesting. Um, contrary to the other cards that we were looking at, uh, this one doesn't actually have a number. Instead, it has a CA3. I uh, don't know what that means, but. I'll have to look at, look that up and see if that's uh, indicating something. So that's kind of cool. Um, next up, we'll read the Ovechkin card. So here it is again, Alex Ovechkin. All right, 
it's just which is nice because I have his tin right here so I wonder if that means anything again there may be special cards like like this Dubois card right maybe there's special cards that I should be keeping my eye out for that's definitely special so we'll see what happens going forward this is only the second pack too uh, Alex Ovechkin again the back of the card pretty standard in recording his 28th NHL hat trick on November 6 or 26 2021 Ovechkin scored two goals 56 seconds apart in the second period of Washington's 4-3 win over visiting Florida cool and again these all have individual numbers in their corner so that's the next batch nice we're looking pretty good um, not like I said not sure if you know that Dubois card is anything special but we'll see what else we have so let's open the next pack all right so here we go number 11 who is this Andreas Johnson I won't lie I don't know who this is <laughs> Andreas Johnson Andreas Johnson born my year interesting uh, I have never heard of this guy was with the Maple Leafs and now is with the Devils. I don't remember seeing him this year. But okay. Interesting. Uh, next up we got the now current captain, Quinn Hughes. Alright. That's cool. Uh, obviously the card is, itself isn't special. Uh, failed prospect, Connor Brown for the uh, Ottawa Senators. He is now the Edmi uh, with the Edmonton Oilers and man he sucked this year 2023 24 season he sucked so bad uh very disappointed to see that Ooh, what's this special card alexander barkoff captain of the panthers what is this freestyles oh my god this card feels nice too okay let's take a look at this card so it's a different backside my goodness uh we have to look into that one uh, next one is Ottawa Senators Drake Batherson. All right. Again, another one of their key pieces going forward into the future. Uh, next up. Oh, here we go. My brother will like this one. Jason Robertson, which I would consider him one of the best, if not the top player on the Dallas Stars currently. Awesome. Another great season this year as well. <gasps> oh, I thought it was quick. Cal Peterson. Oh, uh, failed king. Um, obviously, wish him the best, you know, but unfortunately, he wasn't a fit. Uh, and honestly, even when he first was introduced, I didn't think he was going to be the future goaltender for the Kings. I just didn't see it, so that's unfortunate. And then to wrap up this batch of cards, we got Brock Nelson, alternate captain of the New York Islanders. So let's go back and take a look. So Andreas Johnson, Quinn Hughes, Connor Brown. Let's take a look at the Alexander Barkov card. All right, so here we go. Here it is again. Freestyles. My goodness, what, what is happening with this? This is very nice and colorful. Has a nice texture to it as well. Um, again, just like the uh, Dubois card, it has a special number. FS37. Don't know what that means. Alexander Barkov, Florida Panthers. Barkov reached the 30 goal plateau in 2021-22 with the first of his two tallies in the Panthers 4-0 victory over the visiting Blackhawks on March 31st, 2022. Nice. So, pretty cool. Here's the back. You guys can see it. Pretty cool. All right. Very special looking card. I like that. Drake Batherson, Jason Robertson. By the way, go Asians, right? Not many Asians in the game. There you go. And then uh, here's your backside. Standard card. Um, number 61. I wonder what these card, uh, the numbers mean. Jason Robertson. Robertson scored hat tricks in back to back games to lead Dallas to road wins over Winnipeg. 4-3 in overtime on March 4th, 2022, and Minnesota 6-3, March 6th. I remember that. I was like, damn, this guy's on a roll. Uh, just FYI, in the 74 games played during the 21-22 season, he got 41 goals, 38 assists, and 79 points. So that's pretty amazing. And then next up, we have 
Cal Peterson. I will read him because he is a king, and obviously we are all kings here. Uh, Peterson earned his third shutout of the 21-22 season when he turned away 29 shots in LA's victory, 3-0 victory over visiting San Jose on March 17th. So, if you guys look at his stats on this card, not exactly the best. Obviously, it, it, to be honest, it screams kind of backup goalie, which he, for the most part he was, um, but he was expected to be our starter coming into like the last or last year, right? Last year. So unfortunately, that didn't happen. Uh, here, why not? We'll read Brock Nelson. I have respect for this guy as well. Here's his card again. Uh, Brock Nelson found the back of the net a career high four times in the Islanders' 6-2 victory over the Canadians uh, in Montreal on November 4th, 2021. So cool. So again, we got another special card in Barkov. So, and we got our first. LA oh well technically first LA King card not currently first LA King player but that's cool all the same is awesome all right so let's move on to the next pack okay so here we go uh this is now the fourth pack all right so we start off with Ryan Suter of the Dallas Stars obviously former Minnesota Wild that's who that's how I know him I grew up watching him in the wild uh, next up is a Minnesota wild John Merrill there you go nothing special there next up is a New York Islander Kyle Palmieri interesting this picture didn't look like him for a second I was like wait what <laughs> interesting all right next up is Alexander Texier uh, blue failed kind of a failed blue jacket right now um, obviously, if you guys know the reason why, you know why. Uh, but I was really hoping to see him in action in, at the NHL level as well. He's one of those players I was keeping tabs on. Um, unfortunately, he didn't play this past season. Uh, this year, he I think he did this year, right? But he didn't play last year. Did he get injured? I think he got injured too. Uh, all right, here we go. So we finally got one that says Young Guns. Here we go. Young Guns guns that's the whole reason these packs are called these right because it's called collect young guns rookies cards right that's what the pack says young guns all right so we got our first ever young guns in trey fix wolanski blue jackets right winger uh honestly i've never heard of him before to be honest fix wolanski interesting uh we'll come back to his card the backside's still nothing special, but the front is because it does say Young Guns. Uh, next up, another blue jacket, Cole Sillinger. There you go. And then we also have, oh, here we go, uh, Hurricane Tony D'Angelo. A uh, bit of an attitude. Obviously, uh, when he came in with the Rangers, I was very excited to see him play. Obviously, that didn't work out there, and he definitely had a lot of issues with the team and the players. But to me, he may be a, have a bad attitude, but man, he has some skill. So hopefully he can check that attitude and play better. And then last for this batch is Jake Evans for Montreal Canadiens. So, all right. So not exactly the, you know, my most favorite players batch or by any means, but uh, we'll go back. Let's read Texier. Here's his card. There's your backside. Typical. Uh, Texier scored his first goal of 21 22 season just under 40 seconds, or just 40 seconds rather, into the season. And Columbus went on to win its home opener 8 2 over Arizona on October 14th. Cool. All right. Uh, so here's the next one. My God, I just realized there's a lot of Blue Jackets in this one. In fact, there's three Blue Jackets in a row, including the Young Guns card. So again, Trey Fix Wolanski. Um, I wonder what the Young Guns cards mean, if they're that special. I mean, it is the Young Guns rookie cards that they're saying to collect. Um, on this back on this back page, he only has six games played. He has a goal and assist for two points and a minus one. 
Fix Wolanski made his NHL debut extra special when he scored early in the third period of the Columbus Blue Jackets' 5-4 road victory over the Washington Capitals on February 8, 2022. So, the card itself doesn't scream anything special, it's just the Young Guns part at the very bottom. So, that's quite interesting. Uh, looks like, for the most part, each of these packs I think had one kind of special card. Yeah, so far each pack had one special card in it. Um, the first one being Jared McCann, the second one was Dubois, the third one was Ovet, or, uh, Barkov, and now the Young Guns card. So, alright. Um, I'm going to read off D'Angelo's real quick. So here's his card again, just for you guys to see. Tony D'Angelo scored in the first period and assisted on two goals in the second stanza to lead the Hurricanes to a 6-3 win over the visiting Blackhawks on October 29th, 2021. Alright, cool. Alright, so there's our fourth batch. We are now through half of the packs. We got four more to go. Nice. Um, this video is actually getting longer than I thought. So, that being said, this will most likely have to wait until another video. Who knows? Maybe I'll even do the Connor Bedard cards in a third video as well. We'll see. We'll continue though. We will keep going with these. So this is now the fifth pack. Okay, so here we go. Uh, first up is Jesper F Jesper F Foss. Uh, Hurricane. Next up is Brendan Gallagher, Montreal Canadiens. Uh, I believe he's been jumping around from team to... No, oh, no. Sorry, wrong player I was thinking of. Uh, Alright, Gallagher, yeah. Cool, cool. Uh, next up, Sonny Milano, now currently a Washington Capital. Uh, don't know if they're going to actually sign him again. I don't know if that's... If he's a UFA or what or not. But uh, he fit, I think, pretty well with the team as far as what we I saw. Uh, next up, we got another... Alright, so the special card of this pack, I suppose. Superstar Honor Roll. Here we go. Superstar Honor Roll. Lucas Raymond. Look at that. Look at that card. This thing looks clean as heck. Very nice looking card. Uh, and again, it's another one that's different. It has a in the corner HR28. HR28. So a different card. Then we got Duck. Adam Henrique. Now playing with the uh, Edmonton Oilers, or was I can say he was traded to the Edmonton Oilers at the trade deadline this season. Um, I thought he fit really well with them. Played a good uh, rest of the regular season. I didn't think I didn't really see him much in the playoffs though, so I was a little disappointed. Uh, Buffalo Saber Kyle Oposo also no longer with the Sabers. He was an Islander last I remember. I can't remember. I think he was traded again. I don't remember. Um, next up, here we go. Nice one. Connor, Kyle Connor, Winnipeg Jet. And then last is Islander, Josh Bailey. Cool. So, um, compared to the other packs, again, another one of those. I just don't care for these players as much, but we will take a look at a couple of them, including this superstar of Lucas Raymond. My brother will actually be nice or happy to see this one. Uh, he does like Raymond. He thinks that he's going to be a good star for the Red Rings. Here's the back side. I know it's blurry. You guys can't see it. My apologies. Um, so yeah, this is his second season now. Uh, for, you know, this only has one season, his full, first full season, 82 games, 23 goals, 34 assists for 57 points, minus 32, eight, uh, 16 penalty minutes, and 5 power play goals. So definitely not a strong Detroit Red Wings team for sure, but with him uh, part of their lineup, he, uh, the Red Wings, they, they look pretty good. Honestly, they have some good starts. Um, unfortunately, they're still, there's not, they're not a playoff team. Uh, not yet. Probably next year, though. I think next year they might have a jump. Raymond, who ranked third among all NHL rookies in points in 21-22, had a hat-trick and an assist in, the, in leading the Detroit Red Wings to a 6-3 victory over the host Chicago Blackhawks on October 24th. So, pretty cool card. I really like it. It's really clean and crisp looking. 
Uh, I'm going to read Adam Henrique's card as well. There you go. Backside. Um, he's actually, look, so there you go. I don't know if you guys can read that. The co Oh, you guys can't really see it. The number is number three in the corner. Uh, right there. Number three. Why Adam Henrique? I don't know. It's kind of cool though. Uh, scoring on power play and at even strength, Henrique lit the lamp twice in the second period of the Ducks 7-4 win over host Vancouver on February 19th, 2022. So, cool. Um, yeah, I, I'm just going to skip over the rest. Um, so there's our fifth batch of cards. Leave them there. And let's move on to the sixth pack now. Okay, so here we go. Uh, to start off, we got Victor Olofsson, the power play master on the Buffalo Sabres. My gosh, I remember he scored a ton of power play goals that one year. So he looks nice. Uh, now we got another sideways card. Nikolai Ehlers for the Winnipeg Jets. Excellent, excellent. Uh, Anthony Bolivier from the Islanders. Cool. Ooh, here is, here's a lovely one. Eric Carlson, San Jose Sharks, Norris, last season's Lawrence Trophy winner. Scored over 100 points, regardless that he was on a losing team. My goodness, this was a, this is a player. This, this guy, man. One of my favorite players in the league. Hopefully he, uh, he gets some luck going forward into his future, because he's too good to be, you know, on losing, losing teams. He's just way too good. So here we go. We got another one. Oh my god. None of these cards, none of these special cards look the same. So we got Defense Mechanism. Oh my goodness. Look at this thing. Oh, look at that shine. Woo! Holographic. Defense Mechanism. Tori Krug. One of my favorite Boston Bruin defensemen uh, when I first started watching hockey. This guy can be aggressive and I love that for a smaller player amazing so there's another special card there we go it's a different type uh, another horizontal card Capo Kakinen shark uh, not really sure why he gets a horizontal card or if that's just maybe like a design choice because of for example this one's a little bit more horizontal perhaps were all the goalies horizontal no because there's some other players too never mind Ignore my stick. Oh, here we go. That uh, Alex Nedeljkovic. That counteract what I just said about horizontal goalie cards. Um, this one's vertical. Uh, again, another underrated def uh, defenseman. Underrated goaltender. Uh, this is him as a Red Wing. Um, I was very disappointed to see the Hurricanes let him go. I thought he played great, to be honest. But uh, Hurricanes didn't want him anymore, so... Oh, Yes, here we go. Tanner Pearson, one of my favorite players when he was a king. My goodness. Tanner Pearson. Woo! I love this. All right, so we got a few cards to look at. Um, I'm going to read Victor Olofsson to start off. Here we go. Victor Olofsson. Uh, in his fourth multi-goal outing of 21-22, Olofsson scored power play markers in the first and second periods to help Buffalo post a 5-3 win over host Philadelphia on April 17th. There you go. See? Power play. That's why the car that's why I said it. That's why I mentioned his power play cuz power play master right here. Very good. Very good score. Um Nikolai Ehlers, here's a four horizontal card. Nikolai Ehlers. Uh all the seasons with the Jets. After putting the Jets on the scoreboard in the opening frame, Ehlers assisted on the game-winning goal in the final stanza as Winnipeg defeated host Ottawa 4-3 on April 10th, 2022. So, perfect, perfect. Olivier, Eric Carlson, let's go. Eric Carlson, everybody. Norris Trophy winner from last year. And... Carlson scored his 8th goal of the 21-22 campaign on December 11th, and the lone tally of the second period helped the Sharks earn a 2-1 decision over the visiting stars. My goodness. This guy's career, is, his stats don't look like the best. He has a minus 77 on his career. 
having only gotten a plus on this card in 18-19 season when he had a plus six. But man, this guy, this guy is an amazing player. Oh, I love watching him play. He do a lot of good things. All right, so here's the special card of the pack. Defense Mechanism, Tori Krug. Uh, here's the back side. You guys can't exactly see that, but there you go. Tori Krug, St. Louis Blue. Krug notched his ninth multi-point performance of 21-22 season when he dished out a pair of assists on April 14th to secure the Blues' 6-2 win over the host Sabres. Wow, beautiful card. This is a very beautiful card. Oh, I love it. Very nice. And again, this is another one of the special cards. It has a DM10 in the corner. So I don't know what that means. But regardless, it looks cool. It is cool. Uh, and last but not least, we'll do Tanner Pearson. Tanner Pearson. Here we go. Oh, I miss him so much. He could fit on our team right now. Oh, my God. He would fit so well on the freaking fourth line with Blake Lizotte right now. Jesus. Back of the card. Tanner Pearson broke a 1 to 1 tie when he scored his first goal of the 21 22 season in the second period of Vancouver's 4 1 victory over host Chicago on October 21st. Man, I miss Pearson. My goodness. What a good player. And there we go. There is a six batch. All right, we got two packs remaining. Just two more. My God, this is exciting. I'm excited. I, I, I haven't done this in years i love this well here we go okay so here we go starting off with hurricanes brady shea all right oh here we go this is a this is a goalie stuart skinner edmonton oilers stuart skinner is that his mask i don't remember that mask interesting I don't remember seeing this mask before. Man, this guy, I don't care what people say, this guy is a really good goalie and he will be for Edmonton going forward to his future. My goodness. I did not think he was gonna be as good as he is, but man, he proved me wrong. This past season, he proved me wrong. Very good. Uh, speaking of goalies, got another one. Anthony Stolarz played, uh, played backup for the Ducks. All right. Next up, Tanner Jeanneau. Uh Don't know why the Lightning and Predators had that weird trade for him, but there you go, Tanner Janot. To be honest, doesn't scream anything impressive to me. All right, we got another one. Oh, uh, Matt Boldy for the Minnesota Wild. Another strong player for them. Young Guns, Wild, Left Wing, Matt Boldy. My goodness. He was on my fantasy team. So there's a, there's your front of the card. Obviously the back, nothing special, but again, I collected now two Young Gun cards. This is our second Young Guns, and this is now our uh, first time matching another special type of card, the Young Guns. So that's cool. That is cool. Uh, next up, Dante Fabro. Okay, Predator. Then we have Mackenzie Weger, uh, Panthers. Okay. And last but not least is another goalie, Pavel Francouz of the Avalanche. Nice. All right, so again, another pack that doesn't have my favorite players in the league, but we got some pretty good names. So here we go. We got start off with Stuart Skinner. Ooh. This is a nice clean card. Look, even though you guys can barely see some of the other cards, you can clearly see his face. Look, look how nice this portrait is. I love it. Stuart Skinner. Um, he celebrated Valentine's Day by recording his first NHL shutout on February 14th, 2022. He made 20 saves as the visiting Oilers topped the Sharks 3-0. No offense, but it is the Sharks, so easy win. But again, this guy going forward into the or there's future. I expect him to do a lot of good things. My goodness. To Janot. All right, let's look at the Matt Boldy Young Guns card. Here it is again. Looking nice. There you go. Here's the back. 
201 number. Making his NHL debut against the hometown team, Boldy found the back of the net in the second period of Minnesota's 3-2 road win over Boston on January 6, 2022. Key piece for the Wild going forward into their future. Dante Favreau, Mackenzie Weger, Pavel Fansov. Alright, so there's our seventh batch. Not many players I'm you know a fan of but not to say they're not good players of course um yeah so we got one more of the young guns or well series one and we're looking for the young gun rookie cards and then we have the opichi glossy card packs or pack so let's get on to this one okay so here's our last pack and here we go a regular lucas raymond to start us off so we did get a special Lucas Raymond. Now we got our regular one. Um, nice, nice little uh, shot there. Vasily Podkolzin. Podkolzin? Never heard of this guy, to be honest. Vancouver Canuck. Um, did play a full season, though. I don't know who he is, though. Interesting. Philip Kurashev, Blackhawk. There you go. Nice picture. <laughs> Ooh, another special card. Here we go. Sergei Bobrovsky, Dazzlers. Oh, look at that card, dude. Oh my goodness. Look at that shine. Dude, this is a nice looking card. Look at that. Look at that. It is dazzling, that's for sure. Sergei Bobrovsky. We'll definitely take a look at this card. Uh, we got a horizontal one. Uh, Jujar Kara. Blackhawk. Don't really care for him. Then we got Martin Natius, Hurricanes. Ugh. Super overrated. You gotta be kidding me. Darnell Nurse for the Oilers. Oh my god. He, he. Oilers, get rid of this guy. Get rid of this guy. He is so overrated. Everyone thinks he's such a good defenseman. Worse on your team, by the way, in the playoffs. Holy crap. If you guys lose the Stanley Cup this year, he's the reason why. I'll be honest. Oh my god. And then, of course, we gotta read this one too. Jakob Silverberg, who just announced his retirement this year. Very sad. Very sad to see him go. Um, yeah. Very sad to see him go. Uh, even though, obviously, Ducks and Kings are rivals, but hey, that doesn't mean I can't like the players, right? Alright, so we got Lucas Raymond. I'm not going to read his. We already looked into him before. Uh, the Kunak that I don't even know. Khrushchev. Alright, here we go. First one. Let's look at the Dazzlers guard. Oh my god, look at that. Sergei Bobrovsky. My goodness. If the Panthers win the Stanley Cup, this guy is definitely one of the reasons. Very strong goalie. It always has been since I've been watching him. Again, DZ15. That's the number on the top. Sergei Bobrovsky, recording his third shutout of the 21-22 season, he made 37 saves to backstop the Florida Panthers to a 4-0 victory over the visiting Chicago Blackhawks on March 31st. So here's the back of the card. Very nice. Very nice card. My goodness. Very beautiful. Um... Might as well, let's read both Nurse and Sofer Burst to start with Stupid Nurse, because you know what, we gotta see why they're highlighting him. Nurse assisted on three goals, including the overtime winner and the Oilers' thrilling 6-5 comeback victory during the, or over the Rangers on November 5th, 2021. Yep, whatever, overrated. And, retiree... Silverberg, my goodness, I'm gonna miss him a little bit. Uh, March 1st, 2022, Silverberg played his 607th game in a Ducks uniform, passing Paul Correa for sixth all-time in franchise history. That's special. There you go. So good luck to you, Silverberg. By the way, he's number five. Remember we went over Adam Henrique? He was number three. So I'm assuming. The card number doesn't really pertain to anything special, but it's the it's maybe by team alphabetically because the ducks are 
sec- oh no, it doesn't make sense because the coyotes would be first, right? No, wait. Anaheim. No. Ducks are first. Ducks are first, Anaheim, and then Arizona. So, yeah, quite interesting. So, it's the card number in that corner probably doesn't mean anything. Uh, except for part of the team, since Ducks were first. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, lastly, the Opichi Glossy card. Uh, what did I say? Three cards per pack. Rookie, three Opichi Glossy rookie cards inside. So let's open this up and see what is in here. Alright. So here we go. The Opichi Glossy cards. Alright, so first off, we got Eric Calgren of the Maple Leafs. Never heard of him. <laughs> I won't lie. I have no idea who this goalie is. I know Jarrett Wool, who played this year, and it's phenomenal for them at times. Um, back of the card. There you go. Glossy rookie. So to me, I'm I'm assuming these things won't scream fantastic like, as far as res re resale value, but they are special. They're different numbers from the other cards, so I don't know if that makes a difference. Cal Grant collected his eighth victory in 12 starts in 21-22 by making 24 saves in the Toronto Maple Leafs 5-2 victory over the visiting Boston Bruins in the regular season finale for both teams on April 29th. Alright. Next up, Kent Johnson, Blue Jackets. There you go. Nice picture. Kent Johnson. Helped Blue Jackets or helped the Blue Jackets uh, get things started on April 28, 2022, when he set up the first goal of the game in the Blue Jackets' 5-2 victory over the visiting Tampa Bay Lightning. He had three assists in the nine games in 21-22. So again, nothing special. And then Mark Mc McLawlin, Mc Mark Mc McLawlin. I don't know these players. Oh my goodness. So, very unfortunate. I don't know these players, but, you know, cool cards. Uh, born roughly 20 miles from Boston, McLaughlin was, or played his collegiate hockey at Boston College. Fate called him to his hometown Bruins, and he scored in his NHL debut to help uh, host Boston defeat New Jersey 8-1 on March 31st, 2022. So, these cards don't really mean to me too much to me. I don't know the players. I know, like, I've heard Kent Johnson. I don't know how good he is, unfortunately. Obviously, I don't watch East games as much as I do West. Unless I care about the team, like the Capitals, the Bruins, uh, Penguins, Maple, you know, Maple Leafs, etc, etc, etc. But Blue Jackets being one of the worst teams in the league, usually, I don't care. Sorry, Blue Jacket fans. Um, but yeah, so that's all from the Series 1 tin. Um, let's just do a recap real quick. I'm actually going to pull them out. So we got... We have a Freestyle Alexander Barkov. Very nice looking card. And then we have here... Oh, where was it? Oh, where is it? I'm missing it. Oh, I'm sorry there. We have a Trey Fixwalensky, a uh, Young Guns card. Uh, again, I don't know who he is. But I don't remember hearing his name this season either, so who knows who he is. Then we have our first one, the UD Canvas, Jared McCann. That was cool. Uh, definitely the most unique card, I think, amongst them. Uh, Texture-wise, too. And then we have... Pierre-Luc Dubois, Center of Attention. Very nice looking card, just not a very good player, sadly. And then in this one we have Superstar on a roll, Lucas Raymond. Very clean looking card, very, very nice looking. Over here we have uh, Defense Mechanism. Oh my goodness, Tory Krug, very good looking card. And then we have another Young Guns in Matt Boldy. So that's two Young Guns. Very nice. Hopefully, you know, we see more of that. And then, of course, to finish off, in style, Dazzlers, Sergei Bobrovsky. 
very beautiful card. All right, so there's the Series 1 tin uh, and the Opichi cards. Um, don't know if these guys are worth anything. Obviously, I'll have to look into that. But that is it for now. Um, thank you guys for watching this one. Again, like I said at the or towards the very beginning, I will maybe do a separate video for the Connor Bedard cards. Uh, they are highlight cards. Uh, I put them in number order according to the backside number orders. You guys can see the numbers there. Um, not sure if these things are worth anything either. Maybe in the future when uh, Connor Bedard is like one of the best in the world, maybe second to Connor McDavid. Who knows? Those Connors got to stick together, right? Um, I will do another video though for this one, Series 2, Upper Deck Card Tins. So, uh, yeah, this definitely took a lot longer than I, I was expecting. Again, I had no idea what I'm doing here. <laughs> this is the first time I'm opening hockey cards, and I have to say I had a lot of fun. So thank you guys. Show sure you guys my face. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this as well. And hey, if you guys have any information about these cards, if you guys have a any idea how much they're worth, or if they're special, or they're complete trash let me know in the comment section down below uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed this and of course subscribe to the channel for more content as well as stay tuned for the next video we'll be doing opening this one um, like I said maybe I'll do a sh short video explaining all the cards from the Connor Bedard set who knows we'll see and who knows maybe if this turns out to be really nice and really good maybe we'll even get more cards going forward uh, this is the 2022-23 series cards, so maybe we'll get this this year's 2023-24. Who knows? We will have to wait and see, but for now, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I've recorded over an hour of footage for you guys, maybe a little bit shorter, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.